Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. I'm back once again at Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles right here in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. It is now time, time to start talking about some new comic books. First off, I uh, want to point out, you, you know, you go to Pornhub, you want to check out the latest Zombie Tramp. Uh, later on this week, I'll also have Faithless issue number two up, and I'll also have this kind of a risque cover with the uh, price tags and just the right parts. Uh, the latest, uh, uh, it's not Zombie Tramp, that's already up, the uh, Vamp Blade. So those will be up. And uh, yeah, let's get started with the actual comics that I'll be reviewing here. And some of them I won't, just giving you a heads up. Uh, issue number um, 1011 of Action Comics. This is uh, kind of like the Secret Wars, <laughs> the Hulk holding up the mountain thing. We've got, jeez, uh, I think we've got, a, what is it, 11? No, it's 7, 8, 9. We've got, we got practically a dozen of the darned um, War of Realms comics up. So, uh, yeah, here's the first of the many. Uh, issue number nine of Ask Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm going to find out what actually happened to the Valkyrie. We got War of Realms Avengers. This is up. This is uh, issue number 19 of the regular uh, Avengers. So this is just a tie-in. Uh, we're going to take a break from that until towards the end of the video. Uh, issue number 1004 of Batman and Detective Comics. Got a... Okay, I'm just saying it's a pretty good issue. All right, let's get moving on with uh, issue number three of Dial M for Hero, uh, a theory of mine proves true. Doctor Strange, issue number 14, Heralds of Galactus continues. Uh, year one continues also with chapter two in The Flash, issue number 71. This is good stuff, man. The Goon, issue number two, that's out. We've got Justice League Dark, issue number 11. We got uh, not doing this one, sorry guys. Issue number was this three five fifty. I don't care. 50, uh, issue number five of um, Marvel Comics presents. Chris Claremont's doing one of the stories in here. How about this? Why don't one of you guys review it? Tell me how you liked it. Um, Miles Morales Spider Man issue number six. We got a new character in here, and uh, it's kind of a doozy, bit of a hereditary thing. Issue number eleven of Mr. and Mrs. X. We've got. More War of the Realms with issue number 43, tie-in for Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. The Runaways, issue number 21. That's a cool cover, man. I'm digging on that. We've got Silencer, issue number 17. I'm going to start putting some of these over here. Hope they don't stack up too deep. Uh, not going to be doing issue... Uh, and there's, I think there's only one more issue of the Silencer, too, so I'm dying on that one. I'm crying a bit. Issue number four of Star Trek. This is the... Um, what is it? The Q Conflict. I doubt I will be reading this because it's just, it's failed to impress me on too many levels. Uh, issue number 16 of the Trifics. I don't read this. I'm going to have to catch up on a big time. If I were to read this issue, I have no idea where the hell I am. Um, issue number 11 of Tony Stark's Iron Man. Zub is on this one along with uh, Dan Slott. This is, this is actually a crazy cover. I know you can't see it too well because it's just like, it's hard to make heads or tails out of it, you know, even without the glare. But it's, it's a crazy looking issue. Issue number eight of The Unstoppable Wasp. Now, here we go. More War of the Realms. Issue number 14 of Venom. We've got issue number three of Journey into Mystery. War of Realms, uh, Journey into Mystery. That's the whole title. We've got issue number two of War of Realms, New, A New Agents of Atlas. We've got issue number two of War of Realms, The Punisher, completely separate from the regular Punisher series. We've got War of Realms, Strike Force, Land of the Giants, One Shot. And we've got issue number two of The War of Realms, Uncanny X Men, where Sabretooth goes butt wildin'. Uh, not going to be reviewing Wolverine and the Infinity Watch, issue number four of five. Jerry Duggan is on it. It just hasn't impressed me. Apparently in this one, though, I still read the solicits. Apparently uh, Wolverine's healing factor is better than ever. Cool. Um, issue number 71 of Wonder Woman. Check out that review. I've got a lot to say. Uh, I'm going to get into my religious connota connotations there. Ed Brisson's issue number eight of the X-Force. Been talking with a lot of people when I was at uh, a Comic-Con over the weekend. A lot of people talking about how this is a really good story, but the, the art is just not doing it. I don't read it anymore because I don't read it anymore, but there we go. Uh, after that, we got a couple of little ones over here. We've got, you know how they're doing the, the uh, reprint issues? Alpha Flight issue number one. This is a solid one. So... If uh, you know, I'm not going to be buying this one. I got to be honest because I actually have the original one. Uh, anyway, 
yeah, definitely consider checking this one out if you don't own the original. It's not too hard to get the original depending on where you live, but if you think you have any problems, cover price for this one. It, it's solid. We got Marvel's Greatest uh, Creators. Uh, this is the Iron Fist issue number one, but on top you notice it says Misty Knight because that's the first appearance of Misty Knight where she was badass from the beginning. Uh, Tony Isabella, who is a partial creator of it, uh, gives full credit to Avril Jones, which is really cool of him. Shows that he's he's a, he's good people. Um, Marvel's Greatest Creators, What If, starring Spider Girl. So first appearance there. And uh, Marvel's Greatest Creators with Louise Simonson, uh, Power Pack issue number one, where she introduces all these characters. This was this this was expected to not be the greatest. Is just trying to cash in on the whole mutant craze. Turns out that uh, Louise Simonson is one of the greatest writers of all time. Um, commented on by Jim Shooter himself over the weekend multiple times. Anyway, guys, I think you guys want to see a sweep, and I'll be right back. Alright, look at this with the collectibles, man. Look at Poison. How you doing, baby? What's up, girl? How you doing? So anyway, yeah, we got, uh, like, these, these bombshells, man. Like, this is beyond the norm with a bombshell. This is a whole bust instead of the typical um, entire figure. So that's cool. This is, this is a bit different for me. Uh, I'm digging on that. That's not a bad price either. We got Cousin It. Oh, wait, different kind. This is Pennywise. My bad. My bad. Um, <laughs> we got, like, the, the cover is just scary, man. We got all these little collectible bag clips. We got, uh, what do you got here, the black cat. What's up, girl? What's up, girl? We got uh, 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 the collectibles again with uh, Batgirl is actually the whole thing. So that's cool. And this is actually gonna make an entire scene. So with Batgirl being the first one out, may I make a recommendation? If you think that you want this freaking scene, I think that you better go and get the Batgirl before the prices start skyrocketing because that's exactly what's gonna happen. This is the Bat family right here, baby. So yeah, consider going and checking that out. We got some Hellboy shirts up in here. What we got, what's up, what's up? The Mignola stuff. We got some <laughs> spoilers in the comments, but please no spoilers, like straight up. You can say it sucked, that's one thing, but anyway, if you're interested, we got the real action vinyls up in here. We got the Gray Hulk. Check this out, man. PVC diorama. There's the whole kit and caboodle, the whole shebang, if you will. Love this. This is just gorgeous. Nothing but gorgeous. We got Daredevil back here. We got his own diorama. So, Daredevil versus Hulk, Gray Hulk. What do you think? Who wins? Yeah, I think that's kind of obvious. Um, we got more of the Spider Man Iron Spiders in. Bootyful. Just bootyful. We got some of these guys in, these enamel pins for Hellboy. Look at that. Nice. We got this. Uh, get back over there. You go with the rest. Red Comet version. The, uh, the, 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 the heck are these things called? The, the mech warriors, the Gundams, all that good stuff. We got some Deadpool down here. Check this out. 
So he's got his double, oh, uh, he's got the two swords that you can actually plug into his hands. Uh, let's see if I can turn this around without knocking all this other stuff down. So here, Deadpool versus uh, Daredevil versus Grey Hulk, who wins? <laughs> what about if we're not going by who wins in a physical fight, who wins in the best looking statue? How about that? Who wins in that one? Yeah, I know, Daredevil. Yeah. Okay, so we got uh, more of the Iron Spider. We got Doctor Strange. Okay, so Doctor Strange versus, you know I'm not doing this anymore. Um, <laughs> this, is, this is a nice looking statue. I'm digging on that, it's the full thing. I love that he's on the Eye of Agamotto down there as a base. That's just like, dude, no, come on, that's just awesome. We got Iron Man over here, Iron Face. What is that up there? Is that a ring? Iron, Iron, <laughs> he's got a cop ring. <laughs> Just say, I don't know what that is, some kind of a cotter pin or something like that. Anyway, uh, My Hero Academia, which once again today I am being recommended that I should read it, not watch it, read it. I may, I may. Um, it's a pretty convincing argument today. Batwoman up in here. What is that? Look at that. There we go. The red hair. Gorgeous. So, anyways, not just this, My Hero Aca, uh, Academia with uh, Katsuki Bakugo, but we've also got a Shoto Todoroki. And a Izuki Midoriya. Midoriya. Anyway, so we got those. And we got Blade. That's right. We got Blade up in here. Look at this. Look at all the sick gear that you get with Blade. That's just nuts. That is nuts. You get a whole bunch of different versions of shades. Which kind of shade do you like? Four pairs of removable sunglasses. We got the sword, a removable magnetic sheath. What? All this good stuff here. We got a whole bunch of hands. Do the karate chops. The thumbs. I love the thumbs up. So you can just make him look however you want him to look. That is just crazy. That is crazy. This is this is one of the more beautiful of these uh, Marvel 112, uh, the 12 inchers. These are awesome. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what's in here. Oh, I think I found out though. It's a flash. Oh. That was pretty cool. You know, Scarlet Fe uh, Speedster figure. You know, they might as well just put them on the Cosmic Treadmill if they're going to do this. And uh, that would be cool. I I'd get something with a uh, flash on the Cosmic Treadmill. Anyway. All right, guys, we're going to call that a wrap. Hey, don't forget that uh, June 7th through 9th, Niagara Falls Comic Con, it is on the Canadian side. So if you're an American, you're probably going to need your passport to swing on by. But I will be there. Uh, Carlos Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles will be there. We'll all be there. Instead of being in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, we'll be in Niagara Falls. Canada, Ontario, Canada, because, you know, yeah, anyway, so <laughs> make sure you swing by, high five, hug, handshake, your choice, um, anyway, yeah, um, later on tonight, about 3 o'clock in the a.m., you'll be seeing the first reviews, and, I don't know, whatever, all the same stuff, oh, don't forget to shop uh, Beautiful Halo, uh, descriptions below, uh, what do you call it? I get a portion of proceeds, you get a massive discount, and uh, yeah, Patreon, PayPal, all the good stuff below, and I'll talk to you later. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.